There are many things we take for granted in life, and I like to think that toilet paper is one of them. Sure, it takes a spotlight every once in a while. You might see the cardboard rolls used in DIY guides on how to sort cables or grow plants and even wedding dresses from this product. But for the most part, it hangs one way or another in your bathroom, unassuming and forgotten until the one moment you need it. And you better hope you have it then. Hey, is someone there? Can anyone help? Somebody help! Toilet paper has a lot going for it, and it didn't happen by accident either. Behind each sheet is a feat of engineering and design that delicately balances two main things, comfort and flushability. Toilet paper first needs to be strong enough so it doesn't fall apart too easily in your hands. This is called the finger breakthrough resistance. It also needs to be soft to the touch, because there's some delicate parts down there. On the other hand, toilet paper also needs to be able to break down when it hits the water. This makes sure that it doesn't clog up your pipes or Halifax water's sewer system, another thing we take for granted sometimes. With this in mind, TP manufacturers play around with the length of paper fibers, types of patterns, the number of layers and chemicals, all to achieve that perfect balance of comfort and flushability. The design actually varies quite a bit between each manufacturer and can even differ depending on where you live. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But if you look around nowadays, it seems like TP isn't the MVP anymore. These so-called flushable wipes are being marketed as the new and better replacement for toilet paper. TP might as well be primitive technology at this point. But there's one small problem about these flushable wipes. They're not actually flushable. Sure, they'll go down your toilet, but they don't break down afterwards. Plain and simple, flushable wipes do not break down in water. So what happens instead? Well, these wipes usually end up stuck in your house's plumbing system, which costs you money, or somewhere along the pipes to a sewage treatment plant. We visited a pumping station in town where Halifax water staff regularly have to fish these wipes out by hand. All this gunk you're seeing is a mashup of waste that doesn't break down like dental floss, toothpicks, Q-tips, sometimes even diapers and tennis balls, and of course, flushable wipes. Well, that maintenance comes at a price, and some estimate that removing these wipes costs municipal sewage treatment systems in Canada $250 million every year. So with that in mind, I think we'll be sticking with toilet paper from now on. Not flushable wipes, or dental floss, or tennis balls, or diapers. I mean, isn't this common sense? Why are we having to make a video about this?